Okay, and this pen point will start right now. And this episode of Pen Point is brought to you by Netflix. Go to netflix.com slash pen. Wall Street 2 is out, and I haven't seen it yet, but I went to the party. Uh, I was in New York City, and a bunch of friends were going to the Wall Street 2 party after the movie. After the movie premiere, uh, they were going to the party. They were, they were going to the party. I shouldn't speak for them. I was going to the party because there was supposed to be food there, and I was starving. So I was going to the Wall Street 2 party uh, because there was food there. So I was what was called in, the, uh, in, in Vegas, I was the person that's called a shrimp gobbler. When you have a party, someone that comes to the party to just eat the food. A showbiz party, a PR party. And you were supposed to be like, you know, what was his name? Shia LaBeouf or, or uh, Michael Douglas or uh, Oliver Stone. Or those, you know, like a big mucky muck. Or you're supposed to be like from the New York Times or the Post. Or, uh, you, know, the, you know, somebody important. And I was there for no reason. There's no way I could do any good being at that party. I was just gobbling down great food and laughing with my friends. And uh, I do actually believe that I have some sort of justification for being there because I was in Wall Street, the original. I was in Wall Street. I had a scene that I did Oliver Stone directing. I had Charlie Sheen there in the room reading lines. It was on the phone. And I was cut out 100%. From, uh, from Wall Street. And they asked me, you know, I mentioned this to a woman that was there from the New York Times. She said, well, why were you cut out of Wall Street? And she wanted a really juicy story, I think, that I was cut out of Wall Street because I had problems with Oliver Stone. But that was later. Later, uh, uh, you know, when JFK came out, I did write an article in our book about, uh, about uh, back to the left, about uh, uh, Luis, Luis Alvarez's paper about uh, back on the left, about John F. Kennedy, and how uh, Oliver Stone either didn't know those physics or knew those physics and misrepresented them. But, you know, if you shoot, uh, hunters will tell you, if you shoot at, you shoot an animal in the head and the bullet goes through, the head will often come towards you. So the whole back on the left. So I did do a lot of trashing of Oliver Stone, did a lot of saying he was wrong. But that was after. I believe the reason that Oliver Stone cut me out of Wall Street is because I wasn't good. That would be my suggestion. He wasn't that good. Now, my part was not important to the movie. If the movie was running long, even if I were great, I'd be the one you cut because it was when Charlie Sheen is getting money from people and I was playing like a, a trust fund kid in an Aspen cabin, you know, doing card tricks and talking on the phone with Charlie Sheen trying to get money out of me. But I wasn't good. I mean, I might have been okay. I might have been like Penn, you know. But as far as like acting is concerned, where you're really like, I have this friend, um, Dean Cameron, who was uh, Chainsaw in um, in uh, summer school. He was in ski school and all those all those movies. He was a, a, a big movie star in the 80s. And uh, 80s, sure. And Dean Cameron, you know, he can act. You know, when you're talking to him, he can be like the person. I, I wrote a play that Dean, Dean was in, uh, I wrote with Stephen Banks, and he's so fucking good. I'm not that kind of actor. I mean, the, by that kind of actor, I mean good actor. So I was in Wall Street, and I was cut out. Cut out completely. And Oliver Stone, you know, uh, to his credit, did not say he was cut out because he sucked. He just didn't say anything. I think he came up to me at a restaurant and said fairly loud in the restaurant, sorry, Pam, we had to cut you out of Wall Street. <laughs> Which I don't think is him being a dick. I think that's me, like, being cut out of Wall Street. What else do you say? But a really important movie that a lot of people thought a lot about, and I was in it and cut out of it. I'm also cut out, incidentally, of... Uh, Clean and Sober, the Michael Keaton movie. I was the drug dealer, and in that movie, I believe I was cut out. You could kind of pretend in Wall Street that I was cut out because of time, but I think in uh, in uh, Clean and Sober with Michael Keaton, I was only cut out because I sucked. I was an important character, and uh, I was a drug dealer, and I had a lot of fun doing it, but I was supposed to act. 
you know, like be scared and stuff. And man, I just, I don't think I was that good. And I don't even know about the slogan, you know, Wall Street, money never sleeps. They asked me, you know, Wall Street too, money never sleeps. They asked me about that and I said, you know, all I could think of is that's a Neil Young, uh, Mark Mothersbaugh reference. Cause I, the way I heard it was Mark Mothersbaugh was trying to write, um, he's just from Devo or Devo as they say it. Uh, He's, he's, he's in the band Devo, Devo, and he's, I mean, now he does everything. Uh, I even see him on uh, Yo Gabba Gabba, or Gabba Gabba Yo, the children's show. And uh, he, uh, he was writing an a ad campaign for Rust-Oleum when he was an ad guy. Remember the phrase, Rust never sleeps, they never used it. And then Neil Young heard it and loved it and did, of course, some My My Hey Hey and a whole tour called Rust Never Sleeps. So when you say money never sleeps, I think about it being a reference to Mark Mothersbaugh and Neil Young. Because if it's not a reference to that, I have no idea what it means. What the fuck does it mean, money never sleeps? I understand Rust never sleeps. I guess, you know, money just, I don't know. I, I, anyway. I was at the party for Wall Street too, and I'm standing there and Oliver Stone starts walking over toward me and then I think he made eye contact with me, put his arm around his date, turned and walked away right away. That's the way I see it because I see myself as the center of the universe. He probably just decided he wanted more of the fabulous, there was this wonderful uh, kind of uh, uh, capaccio beef thing. He probably just decided, he wa and also these wonderful veal raviolis. He probably just decided he wanted more of those because he's making really successful movies. He's a superstar director. He's not going to be bugged by Penn Jillette being a shrimp gobbler at his huge glorious party for his hugely successful movie that is a sequel for the movie that he cut Penn Jillette out of. So Oliver Stone, uh, I don't think you walked away from me. I mean, I'd like to believe that. I'd like to believe that I was able to uh, bug you. I don't think you did. I did. Congratulations on your movie. I'm so glad you allowed me to come to the party and uh, eat your food. And uh, I do not blame you for cutting me out of Wall Street, the original, because I think all things considered, I probably sucked. Go to www, or as we call it, 6U. Go to www.netflix.com slash pen for your free trial membership. I just got the monkey's first season, the whole first season on Netflix, and I was having trouble buying that anywhere. Netflix gives you stuff you can't buy. Doesn't matter that it's cheaper, it's fast, I get the monkeys. I'm going to try to take an evening off and watch the monkeys because I love, uh, I love Mike Nesmith so much. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you get DVDs by mail in about one business day. And that's really true. I mean, they're not lying about that. The shit comes fast, and it comes with these cool little mailers that you just pull it out, put it back in. You don't have to monkey with anything. It's, it's really terrific. Plus, you can instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies streamed directly to your PC, Mac, or right to your TV via a Netflix-ready device like PS3, Xbox 360, and the Nintendo Wii console. And they're not even telling you enough there, because I use my iPad. You know, I use my iPad for everything. You see me having it uh, right here and plugged in all the time. Boy, those are cute kids, aren't they? And uh, I, uh, I get it right to my iPad. I go in the bathtub. I put on my Sennheiser noise-canceling headphones with a cord that doesn't have a mic so we can dangle in the water. I go in a hot bath at about 2 a.m. and I watch a movie with my Sennheiser headphones and my iPad and it's the greatest thing in the world. You know, might as well just throw away your TVs. You don't need any cable, nothing. It's all Netflix through your Wi-Fi. It's the greatest thing in the world. Where was I? I was talking Netflix. And as a new member and a pen point viewer, pen point viewer, You'll get a free trial membership now. Go to netflix.com slash pen and sign up now for a free Netflix membership. Be sure to use this URL so they know we sent you. You really should do that. It helps me out a lot. I mean, I love Netflix, uh, but if you use this URL, which is netflix.com slash pen, it's a big deal for me. The thing about Molly Norris just makes me... So scared. So, so scared. I'm changing 180 degrees in the middle of this pen point. The Pope is welcome to compare atheists to Nazis. Uh <laughs>
<laughs> virgin births and shit, and we're supposed to make fun of the witch. So, 